All right. Um, go for to get everyone situated real quick. Right on. Looks like we're good to go. Good evening, everyone. My name is Bradley Richards. I'm Alexander Cho. I'm Amy Heinzen. And I'm Nick Steinauer. Our product concept is called Nom Noms. So tonight we want to start off with a little game by the name of Factor Fiction. This is how it's going to work. We're basically going to start off with me presenting to you a statement. Then I'm going to pass it off the ball to one of you lovely members of the audience who will then give me your best educated answer to the question or statement that I presented. Statement number one. Over 75% of parents who have obese children do not believe that their children are obese. Get your hands ready. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. That is a fact. According to a study done by actually the healthcare, the child healthcare uh, of Atlanta, said that 77% of parents who have children that are obese do not believe that their children are indeed obese. Statement number two. Products are basically frozen and canned food have, do not have the same amount of nutrients that organic and locally grown food <laughs> That's okay. Great answer. <laughs> this is actually fiction. A number of studies have actually shown, especially by Dr. Oz, that there actually are no added nutrients to organic food as well as locally grown food. With that being said, these products that we make, these frozen and these canned foods, have the same amount of nutrients that these other products have as well. And my third statement is, the market is in dire need of a new food product for kids that is basically a fast and easy way to cook and also while maintaining a source of basically the health benefits that all, all families want their children to have. Fact or fiction? That is absolutely true. That is absolutely true. <laughs> and to talk about a little bit more about why this is true, I'm going to turn it over to Alex. Thank you, Brad. So before I delve into our product concept, Nick will begin distributing some goodies we provided for special judges and then the rest of the, the, rest of the audience if you would like to enjoy as well. So we have identified three main problems that Nom Noms, our product, aims to solve. One. There we go. How many of you would want your child to look like this? or be eating that kind of food on a regular basis? I would assume no one. Sadly, this is the reality of America today. 18% of, of children aged 6 to 11 are morbidly obese, and that number is rising. Next, problem number two. Many of you moms, which was, which was identified earlier, feel, the, feel that you are often stressed, don't feel like you have enough time, and feel that you have that pressure to be super mom at times. And we are here to help you. But not only moms, dads too. There's more single dads and stay-at-home dads today than ever. So they can't be left in the dark. And lastly, why settle? What's gonna make you want to buy your child a frozen dinner? We believe that we have what it takes to make this happen. With that said, we'd like to show you our Consumer Insights video. <coughs> Maybe not me. Maybe. Oh, no, not 
And so for this, we decided to develop this uh, short, like 30 second commercial. It's gonna involve a brother and a sister. The brother's gonna be helping out his sister. He's gonna offer to do her chores, her laundry, take out the trash, do her homework so she can watch TV. Then when dinner time comes around, the sister is going to be sitting and the mom is going to bring out a nom noms meal. The brother is going to be sitting there anxiously and, you know, the sister is going to be like, thanks for your help, but you can't have any of my noms, causing the brother to have a temper tantrum. Basically, we, and then he's going to go cry to his mom, basically ask for his nom noms meal. And we thought that this would really relate to like the typical family, the brother, sister, you know, having arguments, but still having fun and living in the house. And next, we wanted to uh, go into uh, magazine ads, print ads, and we decided that uh, the best way to like, reach out to our target demographic was to reach through parenting magazines. So we discovered through our research that these were the top four currently. So we would place ads in these throughout the year. And lastly, our social media, which should be divided on four platforms, starting with Pinterest, which is our main one. And we were really, like, as mentioned before, moms are huge on Pinterest. So with all the boards and ideas that we have for Pinterest, we think it would be a really good way to get our name out there and also provide ideas beyond just eating food and what our food product would be. Next would be Twitter, where we would provide like childhood obesity facts and facts about the product, information about new products. And there's also a huge population of influencing parents and moms on Twitter, which might be shocking, but there are a huge demographic out there on Twitter as well. And Facebook, we would want to target local and also national audiences and cultivate that and give out offers and really engage our fans on that platform too. And then something special we decided to create was a blog called the Nom Noms for Moms blog, which would post um, related content like uh, recipe ideas, fun activities for kids, uh, uh, fun snacks, like DIY crafts, things that would interest like family, promote family and activity. And also we would hope that uh, we could have a mommy blog influencer or like a celebrity mom or dad that could write for us at least once a month. And this is just our media plan laid out over the years, starting divided by how um, the categories that I mentioned. At the top is the TVI, which we'd run throughout three times throughout the year on major networks like ABC Family, Disney, Nickelodeon, Reaching Kids, and also parents who would be watching with their kids. The next four lines are the magazines spread throughout the year. And then lastly, these are social media and website, which would be pushed throughout the year. And next, Brad will talk about our promotional strategies. So <clears throat> diving into a little bit more about the creative promotional strategies that we hope to use, uh, we want to incorporate uh, a, a form of guerrilla marketing uh, by investing in a Nom Noms Chuck, as well as a street team, which will basically go around to local schools, local organizations within the California area. The basic objective of this Nom Noms Chuck is to better educate our youth of basically how fun it can be, how fun it can be to be active and also at the same time be healthy. Also, a typical visit would just basically include a, a time for them to go out, have fun, we'll provide basic, basic recreational materials, as well as we also really want to emphasize on that fun fact. With doing so, we want our, our street team to be interactive, be participate within the events, and also just play <coughs> fun music. We also want to uh, add in an, an educational aspect to it, where we sit the kids down and talk about how important it is to be healthy and to choose healthy choices when eating. Along with that, we promote our own product and say what it has to do with them, and basically say, not only does it taste good, but your parents will love it, and then top it all off with a nice little coupon, coupon they can bring back to their parents. Moving on to expanding a little bit more about our relationship with an organization that we want to focus in on, which would be the Boys and Girls Club. With this, we want to create a five-year uh, strategic al alliance uh, with this to basically promote and sponsor their events, which we feel like will not only reflect a good sense of social responsibility, corporate social responsibility, but also basically pro provide us a, with a direct avenue to a large pool of our target audience, which would be kids. And then also moving on to one of, another one of our promotional creative strategies that we really feel like would be a really fun and also beneficial for our, our brand uh, would be partnering up with Pixar and Walt Disney uh, Studios, basically trying to integrate our Nom Noms product with, uh, into promotional campaigns of the newly releases of these videos, such as the new movies coming out, Finding Dory, as well as Monsters University. With this, this business relationship would hopefully be reciprocal. On our side, we would create unique packaging, as well as offer limited edition meals, uh, as well as maybe throw in a sweepstakes to get that vibe, to get that talk about not only us, but, our, uh, but the movies as well. Then, our, uh, basically our financials, the fun part. Uh, as you can take a quick look, 
Um, we'll quickly transition into something a little more visually uh, appealing. This is our uh, graph, which basically shows our forecast of our sales increasing after each year. Also, we want to make note that we are attempting to sell our product to distributors wholesale for $379, which is a very competitive price compared to uh, our competitors. I'm going to move it to so based on all of our media strategies, we decided for our KPIs and measurements that it would just be um, you know, the major tools out there for each specific platform like RealView for the commercial and insights for each platform as well as Google Analytics to transfer uh, <coughs> like, uh, information about the blog and also our website overall. And lastly, our future plans are going to be talked about by Amy. So um, in the future, we hope to fund underprivileged schools' um, physical education programs. Um, also, we would like to start a breakfast line so that kids can go to school um, with a healthy uh, like breakfast in their systems and perform better. And then lastly, we would want to improve our packaging by adding online codes for um, children so that when they come home from school and finish all their homework, they have something fun to do. Thank you for listening. Have you thought about going directly to the schools as a substitute for cafeteria food, which is not typically healthy? That, yeah. that was one of our um, first ideas, actually, to try to replace the cafeteria meals with ours, mm -hmm. but unfortunately we were doing some research and we thought that as like a startup company that might be a little difficult because a lot of schools already have established relationships with vendors such as like LMU has an established relationship with Sodexo and that would be really hard and pricey to kind of um, get into, especially as a startup company. I, I, I thought the, the the idea of using the, the packaging, I don't even know what it's called, but you came up with that. Oh, is that real? Did you? Yes. yes. <laughs> Just a word. I know it. Anyway, I thought that was clever because I can, I can imagine kids getting into that and watching it. I thought that, would, that worked really well. I was struggling a little bit with the name doesn't immediately imply food. So had you thought about a tagline or some other descriptor to explain what the heck it is? I mean, I think the name implies food. Like, that's like a big thing now, like, no, 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 like, you know, you're eating, like, <laughs> stuff like that, like, <laughs> generation after, <laughs> sorry. Well, actually, um, <laughs> yeah, with Cheerios, just claimed the hashtag nom nom, so, I don't know, we, we just found that out, but <laughs> we didn't steal it from them, but I don't know if that, it implies. <laughs> Oh, I was curious how Mr. Steinauer got his name on the cover and nobody else did. Because <laughs> I'm looking for a job. I'm not starting my own ad agency. Just ask him. I think that doing this stuff in the um, store with the floor stickers is good. And I think the idea of doing something with the kids' programs, like the um, girl marketing and doing it with boys and girls club, is definitely a key differentiator of something that markets need something like this too. So I, thought, I just thought that was a great idea. And I was going to ask the same question about the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Eric. Yeah. Um, I also thought the interactive packaging was great just to get kids involved so that, you know, when kids are involved in the preparation of food, they're more likely to eat it. Um, and also to exercise with the core details. Um, have you thought about the roll-up plan? Oh, it's actually going to be a national rollout starting in major cities, similar to um, what a previous group did in terms of like the major cities. So yeah. we just and assumed like that it would be national. That we so. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.